Yeah. Is your teenager sitting their GCSE English this year or in 2024? And are they doing the Power and Conflict Anthology for English Literature for the AQA paper? So here are the top three common mistakes I have seen teenagers make for the Power and Conflict Anthology for English Literature for GCSE English. Hi parents and welcome, this is Natalie Trauma from Trauma Tuition. I hope you guys are all well and you're having a fantastic day today. Don't forget as well to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on your notification bell if you haven't already so you'll be the first ones to know when I have my next video. I am here to help your teenager be able to grasp and get through this anthology if they are sitting this for their GCC English. So I have been going through poetry over the last few weeks and poetry can be really, really difficult for teenagers to grasp. So I am specifically talking about the AQA paper and it's the Power and Conflict Anthology. It's all to do with power and conflict. So that is the main overall theme for every single poem and it's a mixture of different poems could be based on war or some sort of conflict that is happening within the poem so let's go through this very carefully on the top three common mistakes i've seen teenagers make when it comes to approaching the power and conflict anthology so number one just as i said with unseen poetry understand what the poem is about okay you need to understand what the poem is about before you answer your question so it's really important they have time so there's about 14 poems all together that they need to analyze and they have enough time to be able to analyze these poems and be able to annotate the poems when they're in school and make sure they get some much needed guides that they that can help them analyze these poems effectively you can get them on amazon and i will leave links with those guides that you can purchase for your teenager that will help them to be able to understand the context of the poem so this historical background set around the poem the writer the purpose of why they've written this poem and what do they want to get across to the audience? So everything of what the poem is about is really, really important for your teenager to grasp. Number two, the themes. The themes, the themes, the themes. The themes are really, really important to understand, okay? And I'm not talking about power and conflict. Obviously that's the main subject that is highlighting every poem, but then going deeper into the themes is really important to understand the themes because this will affect them when it comes to when they need to compare the poems with each other. So there are 12 different themes with every poem and each poem falls into, it can fall into more than one. So this is a grid that you get with this power and conflict guide that I was talking about just previously. So I will leave a link in the description box so you can get this for your teenager because this will be a great guide for them to memorize and just kind of grasp with all the poems that they need to need to analyze and, and revise. And some poems are ticked off, meaning that poem falls into that particular theme. So you've got Ozymandias, that falls into the power of humans. And then you've got London, that falls into the power of humans. That shows that some poems have similar themes. So that means they will be the best ones to compare together when they have to do their comparative question. I will talk about that 4.3 in more detail. But you've got power of humans, power of nature, the effects of conflict, reality of conflict, loss and absence, memory, negative emotions, 
um, you know, just in more detail, anger, negative emotions, guilt, and negative emotions, fear, negative emotions, pride, identity, and individual experiences. Number three, which poems are linked together when it comes to themes? And as you can see, this grid would help your teenager because it's already ticked off which poems are linked together. When it comes to the power of humans, Ozymandias, London, The Last Duchess, Storm of the Island, Tissue, and checking out my history. If you had that question, boom. So usually they'll have an extract of one of the poems. They'll have one of the poems visible, but then they have to compare it to something else. They have to remember which poem is linked together when it comes to themes. And a lot of teenagers do not memorize this. They don't memorize the themes. They don't memorize which poems are linked together. And that is heavily going to affect their grade because they have to compare two poems together and thank you guys for tuning in today and i hope that was helpful when it comes to the top three errors that your teenager tends to make when it comes to the power and conflict anthology and so it's really important they grasp those themes and they understand the poem, it's really important, and they understand which poems are linked together, it's so important. Those key three areas they need to grasp before they even answer the question, before they go into the exam and they answer the exam question, especially when it comes to comparing two poems. So guys, if you would like any more videos like this, you click the like button, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if this was helpful to you. If you have any questions regarding this, I'm thinking of doing a video based on comparing two poems and how to tackle the exam question when it comes to the power and conflict anthology, specifically, how do you tackle an, a question when you have to compare two poems. So let me know down below if you would like that video as well, and I will make sure I do that for next time. Thank you guys, and remember, reach your full potential confidence. If you would like any more further help, just go to my website and you can sign up for a free consultation with me. All the links are down below in the description box. And remember, reach your full potential confidence. Take care, have a lovely week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.